Prince Harry denied special diplomatic immunity for Philip funeral no special treatment. Prince Harry's arrival back into the UK has already presented logistical challenges for the Duke of Sussex, who will have to face them instead of gaining diplomatic immunity. Prince Harry has been pictured arriving back in the UK ahead of Prince Philip's funeral on Saturday. The Duke of Sussex made the journey from the US after Buckingham Palace announced that his grandfather had died on April 9. ITV's Royal Rota podcast discussed how the challenges that Harry still faced. Host Chris Ship told listeners, Harry will have to do the whole quarantine thing. We thought that he could have gotten away with some diplomatic immunity. But I think he isn't because of all the messaging around this. They don't want to be seen to be getting any special treatment. Co-host Lizzie Robinson added, we know that he's going to fall in line with COVID protocols. So one would imagine that he would come over do the quarantine and test to be released in time for the funeral. Mr. Ship explained, if you take two tests, one on arrival and one on day five, and they're both negative, you do get released from quarantine. So he should, all things being well, be released for the funeral on Saturday. Philip passed away on the morning of April 9th in Windsor Castle. His funeral will take place in the residence's St. George's Chapel on April 17th. As per his requests, he will not be receiving a state funeral. Harry released a statement about the Duke on the Archewell website, writing, My grandfather was a man of service, honor and great humor. He was authentically himself, with a seriously sharp wit, and could hold the attention of any room due to his charm, and also because you never knew what he might say next. He will be remembered as the longest training consort to the monarch, a decorated serviceman, a prince and a duke. But to me, like many of you who have lost a loved one or grandparent over the pain of this past year, he was my grandpa, master of the barbecue, legend of banter, and cheeky right till the end. He has been a rock for Her Majesty the Queen with unparalleled devotion, by her side for 73 years of marriage, and while I could go on, I know that right now he would say to all of us, beer in hand, oh do get on with it. So, on that note, Grandpa, thank you for your service your dedication to Granny, and for always being yourself. You will be sorely missed, but always remembered, by the nation and the world. Megan, Archie, and I, as well as your future great-granddaughter, will always hold a special place for you in our hearts.